very valuable way to understand cooling optimization is to look at the four delta T's in the room. There are four delta T's in the airflow path as it mo moves through a room. Now, most people will really be focused on one or the other. The IT people, of course, are focused on the amount of temperature changes air moves through the IT equipment. Mechanical people are really focused on how much the air temperature drops as it moves through the cooling units. But there's two other delta T's that are very important. That's how much the air heats up from the time it leaves a cooling unit before it goes into the warmest intake. And how much does the air cool off from the time it leaves an exhaust from a IT equipment before returning to a cooling unit? Now, you wouldn't think that these would change very much, delta T4 and delta T2. And in this example, they're drawn at the same temperature. The air comes out at 75 degrees and the warmest intake temperature to IT equipment is maybe 80 degrees. And that's ideal. The air comes out at 95 or 100 degrees and it returns to the cooling units at around 90, 95 degrees. That is the way we would like to have our facilities. However, this is the way they actually are. To achieve a maximum intake temperature of 75 or 80 degrees, as most people do, uh, that requires in most environments, because of a poor airflow management and poor optimization, that requires a supply temperature from cooling units of 55, 60, maybe 65 degrees. That, that 60 degree air often warms up 20 degrees by the time it gets to the warmest intake temperature. So delta T4 is 20 degrees. 20 degree increase in temperature from the time it leaves the cooling unit to the warmest intake. And the exhaust, we know the air coming out of servers is easily around 100 degrees. Then why is the return air temperature at the cooling units often around 70 degrees? Why is that delta T 30 degrees? Why is it 30 degrees colder from the time it left an exhaust to returning to the cooling unit? Well, the answer for for this one is it uh, bypass airflow, extra conditioned air that didn't flow through IT equipment, cool air that came out of an unsealed cable opening mixes with the exhaust air and cools it off, or too much cold air in a cold aisle, that extra cold air leaving a cold aisle, or a supply tile placed in an open area of the room, that conditioned air comes and flows and mixes and reduces the temperature of the exhaust air. The only way to reduce this delta T is to reduce the flow rate through the cooling units relative to the flow rate through the IT equipment. Delta T4, why does the air heat up so much from the time that it leaves the cooling units before it gets to the intakes of IT equipment is because of exhaust air recirculation. Hot exhaust air is finding its way into the cold aisle flow path approaching the cooling, the IT equipment, and it's warming up, it's mixing and warming up that conditioned air. The, uh, the way to reduce delta T4 is with airflow management improvements, making sure that all the cable openings are sealed, making sure that all the cabinet spaces are, are sealed, and then the focus of our presentation today has been making sure there's aisle containment, doors on the ends of the row, something over the top of the cabinets or containing the hot air so it can't get back into the cold aisle. Um, eliminating exhaust recirculation is the only way to reduce delta T4. You can put all the containment in in the world and this is one of the most misunderstood concepts in the industry is that you can put all the containment in you want, and you are not going to reduce delta T2 unless you reduce fan speeds through cooling units. There is no way to stop that extra conditioned air. If there are only four units of air moving through all the IT equipment, but you've got 20, 30 units of air moving through all your cooling units, that extra air is going to find its way somehow um, back to the cooling unit. It has to and it's gonna end up mixing and reducing that temperature. So you put containment in place, 
then you can reduce fan speeds and uh, optimize the room.